In this video, we are going to rank an article step by step together. We're going to use an SEO strategy called hybrid consensus. This thing is going to blow the top off of your ability to rank online. Now check this out. You need to understand what consensus means to begin with and how can we hybridize this thing. So here is an article, new ways we're helping to find high quality information. This is straight from Google, right? And if I could do control F, we can just say consensus. Let's just do here. All right. So it says, look right here, by using our latest AI model, you know, the MUM, our systems can now understand the notion of consensus. So consensus is this, what are the top three websites talking about that they agree upon? Now to visualize this, let's search the top beaches in Japan, right? We're gonna have a lot of different beaches. Here's this one, this one, and this one. If we click on all three of these websites, here's the seven best beach locations to visit in Japan. Listen, it's very important because Google thinks this is the best website for that search, that keyword, right? Here's 13 best beaches in Japan, and here are 10, woohoo. Well, let's push it to Claude, right, as a corpus. A corpus is a body of text. We have three separate bodies of texts. Let's ask, you know, Claude, here are three articles, which beaches are mentioned twice. And it says this one, this one, this one, five beaches are mentioned twice throughout these separate articles. And if they're mentioned twice, that means it's consensus. It means that these websites agree upon this. Now check this out. I was watching this last night. This is Nathan Gotch's channel, his YouTube channel with Jamie IF, both of which are awesome SEOs. Check out this interview. But Jamie, he goes on to say something really interesting here. There are some things where like we know that the real search intent is this. But when you are not high enough on the helpful content tier to be trusted as a thought leader, you just won't get indexed because you don't agree with consensus. Uh okay, oh, there's a lot there. He said a lot right there. So he said, if you do not have an authoritative website, right, according to HCU, according to Google, you cannot go against consensus. Otherwise, you may not rank or even get indexed, right? Let's see what else he has to say. I know that it's correct. And so we didn't delete it because I know that once we get the other stuff back to be considered a thought leader and to be considered a viable source of information, that will go straight to number one because it will, even though it disagrees with consensus, we're allowed to sculpt the new search intent now. Uh All right, so he's saying, this is really cool. He's saying, despite not going with consensus, so sometimes he purposefully, Jamie purposefully goes against consensus because he knows his information is correct. But that is the long play because eventually Google will see his sites as authority websites because Jamie's websites, he puts a lot of work into them. They're excellent. You know, I imagine his websites are built out data, awesome data, but that's the long play. With new websites, if you go against consensus time and time again, Google might think, well, this is potentially incorrect information. Now to drive this concept home, right? We have Corey's channel. If you haven't checked out his SEO channel, I really enjoy it. You gotta check it out. So let's let's zoom into this. Let's press play. Information. So this is a sec this is a second we do had suggestion in this video. Stay in the consensus as much as possible. Once you are topically topical authority, you should understand this. You are the consensus and this is the gut phase of the topical authority this is the main purpose of actual topical authority so there you go so what he's saying is once you obtain authority then you become the consensus and he calls that quote unquote god mode god phase like that is the power because anything that your website says google's gonna be like okay i trust you and now the rubber hits the road right we're gonna have some fun so the 18 best beaches in japan i'm gonna show you exactly how i would attack this article right on page SEO. So here are the top five ones that were consensus. We're highlighting consensus and here's all the other beaches mentioned. In other words, I asked Claude, I said, look, you know, remember which beaches are mentioned more than once? Okay, here's five of them. And I said, give me a header outline for an article, the best beaches in Japan and prioritize these four beaches, it's actually five, as top headers and every other beach mentioned in it under it. So we have 18 beaches. These are agreed upon. So we're showing Google, hey, look, we agree with consensus. And furthermore, we're given a more comprehensive article, right? So what else can we do to set ourselves apart? Now, before we go on, we're going to nerd out for a second. It's very important you come down this rabbit hole with me, right? So ChatGPT, why does ChatGPT work well for this concept? It has to do with the temperature ratings of the model. So in the context of models, LLMs, large language models like GPT, even Claude, the temperature is a hyperparameter that controls the randomness of the model's output. So there's high temperatures, 1.0 down to low temperatures. So ChatGPT is a prediction model in some sense. And this is what that means. It predicts the next word or words in a sentence. So if I say the bus goes down the, and I stop, 
Well, GBT is going to know the most likely word next, the bus goes down the road, right? So that's how it works. Now, if we were to toggle into a high temperature, and you can do this with the API, you, it, it might say the bus goes down the, the ocean or, or the stars or the moon, something crazy. Why does that matter? Listen to me, that matters because ChatGPT inherently stays within a standard deviation. It's going to try to give us the most likely response based upon a huge data set. Therefore, it is always seeking consensus. Now, all that's great and dandy, but ChatGPT has deficiencies that you really need to understand. These are problems. So I said, tell me the top 15 beach destinations, and it gave me like cities. I don't want cities, I want beaches. So I said, you know, give me 10 beaches, and it did. Here's 10. And I said, which of these did you mention? So I'm asking it, which beaches, which were based upon our consensus, you know, our research earlier, did you mention? And it mentioned two out of the five. Therefore, it's a 40% hit rate on this one example. That's a big problem. I'd prefer to have, you know, a five out of five hit rate. So that is one huge deficiency of ChatGPT, but kind of impressive they even got any of them right you know, out of hundreds and hundreds of beaches in Japan. Now we're gonna come back to Claude and we are gonna build this article out together quickly. It doesn't have to take long, but have you ever seen me in the videos? I mean, I've done this so many times. Use this tool here called SEO Meta One Click and I grab headers and I come over here and I grab headers, right? Because it's fast, it's easy. Look, it gives us all the beaches right there. That's all we really need sometimes. We don't need a corpus or the whole body of text. So that right there is a little hack why I do that in a lot of videos. I'm looking for consensus so I can hybridize consensus. And how you do that is build more and more on top of what exists. But nonetheless, I came over here to uh, Claude and I said, based upon the TXT file gave, which is useful, I have the corpus, the words for each article. Um, who do you think is the focus of those articles? You know, families, individuals, what's the focus audience? I need to know. And it gave me all these things, you know, it says individual travelers, focuses on beauty, activity, experience. And then I said, great, give me some LSI. So these are keywords that I could put into my article. And there's a very specific reason is because when I come over to Word Galaxy, a good tool for this use case, it's why we designed it this way. I can have the article title, I can have the exact beaches, and I can push, hopefully push these keywords in to kind of guide the article on what it needs to talk about. Now, as Word Galaxy is cooking, I think it's wise to come back to SERPs. Let's see what our competitors are doing well. So this is the first result, the seven best beaches locations. So it has a beautiful image. Draw them in with the image, great. What is this down here? Captions. So this actually links to another portion of their website. We're doing all page SEO, we're kind of learning. So that's an internal link. Uh, they have the share icons and then four or five paragraphs with bold. And look here, they have another one, Japan Rail Pass. So this is their homepage. So they're linking to their homepage. Interesting. So they have H2, the place, some stuff, you know, some bolded, a picture, H2, picture, H. Uh, does that one skip a picture? No picture there. Okay. So, I mean, that's a very, very basic one. And that's the top search result. Very interesting. Let's go to the second um, one. All right. I like this. I usually do header and then image right below it like this. And it has, you know, three paragraphs. Great. Same thing. Same thing. Rinse and repeat. And I would say, because you look here, 7, 13, 10, uh, 10, 10, 12, we're going to have 18. We're going to have 18 beaches we're talking about. And I would prefer that is at least 30% more than the top three SERPs. And it is, pretty much it is. So I'm happy with that number. I don't need to go crazy with it and do something like the top 50 beaches in Japan. And just like that, Word Galaxy is done. So we have the best beaches in Japan. And off to the right, it shows you how many times these LSIs or keywords are included. So snorkel, you know, was included seven times. If I click on it, I could push external, internal link, whatever. And how this looks when it renders on a website, um, I got these from Dolly, the images, um, is this. And, and that little test right there was 1,700 words. What I do is I can come in here and say, okay, H2 is this beach as it relates to, okay, the, the beach located here in Tokyo is a hidden gem for beach lovers. Does this first sentence relate back to the H1? It better. It, it better. You got to make sure of that. And then we come down here, we're going to bold out some things, make it look nice. You can go in the weeds. You can provide a lot of value here, and that's where you can win. You can win two ways here. Just provide more beaches, right? More comprehensive. And then between the H2s, provide more value. Because when we come back here to the, you know, the number one SERP for this, the seven best beach locations to visit in Japan, 
Well, what are they talking about? They have two paragraphs. They have good internal links. They have good authority. That's why they're, they're most likely winning here but provide more value. And that is hybrid consensus. We are going to agree with the top three SERPs, what they are saying. Yes, Google, we agree with that. And we have more value here. We're gonna give you more beaches. We're gonna give you more content in between the H2s. We're gonna to continue to do this with every article and eventually Google will flip the script and it will start coming to our websites for what is consensus.